Hey guys, it's Coach Devin Woods here at HQ, and today we are going to be talking about some common jump mistakes and how to prevent them and or fix them if they're already happening. So let's dive in. First mistake we're going to talk about is a double bounce before your jump. So that would look something like this. Did you see how I basically did an entire jump before I did my actual jump? Make sure you're keeping your feet glued to the ground before it's time for you to actually do your jump. Up next, breaking your arms on your swing. So no matter what approach you're doing for your jump, whether you're doing a high V, or you're doing a whip, or you're doing something in between, from the time your arms go up in the air to the time they come down to the bottom, they should stay straight through this whole middle section right here. So don't let them bend like so. The next mistake is taking the term toe touch just a little bit too literally and actually reaching and trying to touch your toes in the air. So whenever you're doing your toe touch, remember that your arm should be in a T. If you're super strong and flexible and powerful and your legs are coming up high enough that they would hit your arms, bring your arms forward just a little bit more, take your legs behind. But no matter what, don't actually try to touch your toes. This next one often goes along with trying to touch your toes and your toe touch, and that is dropping your chest. So think in the air, wherever your chest goes, that's where the rest of your body is going to go. You're trying to go up in the air. So if you're jumping up, but then taking your upper body and throwing it down, all of that momentum that you just had going up is now coming back down to the ground. So dropping your chest would look something like this. Yikes, keep that chest up, use your abs, to help pull your legs up to your chest, like this. This next one was one that I struggled with and I didn't realize I was doing it wrong until I started looking back through all of the action shots that my mom took in my games. I was so excited for these action shots. She got my legs, they were so pretty, and my arms were all over the place. So, whenever you're doing your jumps, make sure you know exactly where your arms are supposed to hit, but even more than that, watch videos back and look at pictures and make sure that's actually what they're doing. I knew that my arms were supposed to be in a T, but somehow in the excitement and momentum of doing my jump, one of them just kept flying up and doing something crazy. Um, going along with that, think for your toe touch. Sometimes when we're first starting out, instead of our T, our arms can keep going up and drift into high V territory, or sometimes they push back a little bit. Make sure you know where your arms are going. So kind of going along with the last one, how I talked about how I had so much power and momentum and excitement for doing my jump that I kind of let the actual technique get away from me. A lot of times I see this happen with that high V if we're doing a high V approach at the very beginning. So five, six, seven, eight on one. That motion is so sharp, so aggressive. We want to make sure that it's nice and clean, but then it kind of gets away from us and we end up throwing our arms back and sticking our chest out. No matter what, make sure that you're still doing a real high V with it in front of you just a little bit. So our next mistake is landing with our feet apart or with our feet coming down at different times. So there's two parts to this. First is this can happen with our toe touches. So your legs are all the way out here and you have to get them all the way back down here. They're really far apart. It's a long range of motion. You can do it, I have faith in you. As quickly as you lifted your legs up, snap them back down just as aggressively. The second one, and this is the one that I struggled with, is on your front hurdler. So your front hurdler, one leg is all the way up here. The other foot's just kind of dangling back here in no man's land. So this one foot is four or five feet off the ground, maybe more, depending on how tall you are, how high you can jump. This other one's really, really close. So what I found when I was um, first learning and getting into cheers and trying to perfect my jumps is that I was landing one foot at a time. But as I've been a, become a coach, I realized that I'm not the only person that struggles with that. So again, as fast as you've got your legs up there, snap them back down. So this next one I've seen quite a few times um, in my years of cheer. I'm not sure that I can actually demonstrate it because it's, it's kind of crazy. But what I've seen is that some people, instead of bringing their arms all the way down on their swing, they kind of stop here in the middle and then they punch out. People that can do a jump with your arms doing that, you have my admiration because I don't understand the physics behind it. But make sure that your arms aren't coming out here and punching. 
all the way down, pull up. Remember, our arms are for momentum. Use this pull to help pull you up in the air. So this next one may seem a little bit silly, but you'd be surprised how many cheerleaders I've seen that actually struggle with this. And that is forgetting to actually jump. I know, it sounds crazy, but hear me out. So a lot of times um, when someone, especially when you're first learning, you're really excited, you wanna hit that pretty motion in the air, you really wanna get that toe touch, get your legs all the way up there, and that's all you can think about. So when that count comes and it's time, you're like, all right, get my legs in the air, get my legs in the air, and it ends up looking something like this. Do you see what's missing there? My legs went straight from the ground to out here, but they never went up. My legs never fully extended to help lift me up in the air. So the way I explain this to my girls for toe touches and also for pikes, I see this a lot with pikes where you're like, whoop, get my feet up, is think about it like you're flying a basket toss. So you wanna ride it up before you hit your jump. If you'd go right from here, you're kicking your bases in the face. Even though you're just jumping on the ground, you don't actually have bases. If you think of it that way, it really helps you think about, okay, I gotta go up, don't kick my bases, and then hit. So something more along the lines of this. Up, then out. The last one, we're not gonna spend too much time on it. It's pretty self-explanatory. We all do it at some point. Even if you're really experienced and have been doing this forever and a half, you've probably done it a little bit more recently than you think, and that's forgetting to point your toes. You get so excited about how high your legs have gotten that you kind of just forget about your toes. Don't forget about, about them out here in no man's land. They make the jump. That's all we got for today. If you can think of any other mistakes that you or your teammates make a lot, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't know what side subscribe's on. I'll get the hang of this eventually, right? Anyway, happy cheering, guys. See you later.